welcome back to A Different Way here at Redgate Farm. Today, it's time to do some cleanup of our horse track. Follow along. This is how we do it. Redgate Farm where our horses are managed on what we call a paddock paradise track system. As you can see we're deep in the woods and the horses have roughly a mile of linear length in a track system where we actually have post and electric uh, rope that's highly visible set up to control the direction that they go. So they have a perimeter, they're safe, but it keeps them very active and actually simulates the movements of wild horse herds. But as anybody with horses knows, wherever horses live, cleanup is required. So about once a month, we hitch up our horse powered blade and we drag the track, which builds up a pile of compost. It's not just manure. When we scrape, we're also pulling in organic matter from the woods, the dead leaves, the sticks. Uh, anything small that falls on the track gets churned into this pile that we build up on the side. Then we can collect it and use it in the garden later. Makes a beautiful compost, and today is a day where it's time to do that. Here we go. All right, girls. Whenever it comes to horsepower, one of the most common questions we get is regarding the limitations of horses. As you can see, when we're doing a cleanup job like we're doing on the track today, there's going to be areas like this behind me that get a little mucky and muddy and it builds up a bit. But because it's right up against a fence and it's over here in a corner, that's one of the limitations we've found. Horses do not do corners well. A front end loader comes in very handy in those areas. So on occasion, and I'm talking once or twice a year, we'll actually borrow a skid steer or a tractor from a friend and use it to do that kind of cleanup. But otherwise, my second option, kind of plan B, is whenever I'm scraping the track, I will simply back the horses up into that area and pull it forward out of the corner. So it maintains us throughout the year and then we can do the bigger cleanup job whenever we have the large equipment that we borrow. It works for us and it keeps our horses busy.
you've seen us pulling a bunch of compost up there to the garden and you might ask yourself how do we produce that compost well we don't really produce it we collect it but uh, we scrape the track with the horses with the big steel blade and we scrape everything that's on the track to the side now what's on the track it's leaves from the trees around us it's sticks it's sand that washes down from different areas around here and it's also a lot of horse manure but horse manure typically if you look at horse manure you get a bunch of flies and things around that but here you don't because this begins to compost right away and as we scrape it up the side you'll see the side here is a little bit hilled uh, because as that scraper comes down it piles everything up and mixes everything with the leaves with the sticks all the bugs all the worms and it sits there and if you reach down in here and dig into this this is what it turns out to be now this is pretty light soil it's got a little compaction there it's relatively light soil if I want heavier stuff I go to a different area of the track the different areas of the track have different composition of soil so when Danielle and I come down here and we're getting uh, let's say peanuts or cantaloupes or something like that they like a really light soil but some things like brassicas they may want a heavier soil and so we'll go down to that end of the track it's really heavy down there super light down there and kind of a mixture in the middle here and so that's how we balance it there in the garden <laughs> again for watching. We love learning here at Redgate Farm and we hope that we can share some of that knowledge with you. If you want more detailed knowledge of what we're doing and aspects of how we do things, visit our Patreon site. You can see the link below.